Hey, good morning, folks. I hope everyone's well and their families are doing well. A lot of folks are still without power down here in Texas. I tried to make a video of this the other day, and apparently I lost power again, and my video disappeared. So I have to make this video a second time. I'm going to discuss the, the trade and everything. I want to welcome everyone to our channel. We're going to discuss CRSR. It's a gaming stock. This was a 20 minute trade. I mean the market just opened within 10 minutes yesterday and uh, I was going to do a covered call but then I seen it dip so far. I'll discuss the trade once we get into it. We're also going to review the CRSR and why we are into the trade. Please click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can get future content. This is one of the reasons why every subscriber's request, uh, this gentleman here, uh, wanted me to check out Big C and CRSR. I'm bullish on Big C personally and have options qu look quite interesting. Whereas uh, these guys have monthly uh, monthly options basically. Then you see my trade, I jumped into Big C. I also jumped into CRSR. I did cover calls against them. We'll look at them real quick today. Formed an opinion yet, but I would love you to take on both. That was the 4th. 4th February 21, the video comments below if you want to check that out. This is uh, one of the main reasons why I got into uh, Big C and CRSR. I just wanted to show the gentleman on how I would do uh, deep in the money trades on those, and then I did a video on it. And I'll put that video on the, the end of this video. You'll be able to click on both those videos. I'll put them both up. Now here's uh, Kosar Gaming. We're into this stock here. There's a bunch of analysts that are saying that this thing's going to go over 42. They just declared earnings here. They've been going up every quarter, so they're profitable. They're in the buy rating here. The average uh, analyst price target right now is $48 a share, so I feel safe being in it. I have no problems being in this stock. Uh, they have plenty of cash. The market, like I said, we're about 30 minutes before the market opens. The futures are diving here over 100 between the Dow, the NASDAQ, and look at the Russell's down 0.752, and the S&P's down 0.64. This is going to be a wild day because another 861,000 Americans filed for new unemployment claims for this week, for the week of uh, the past week of February 13th. Look at this thing. It's already diving a dollar. I might end up doing the same trade that I just done if it dies too far down. Well, let's get to the chart here where I ended up getting in at. Right here, this was on the 17th. It was approximately 9.40 in the morning. The market just opened up 10 minutes. And I got in at the 38.59 down here, way down here. I was fortunate. I just put that number in and it took. And it was only for 200 shares. And then within 20 minutes, this thing climbed up. You see how this thing climbed up? And it went all the way up to uh, 39.88. So we got in at 38.59, and we were out within 39.88. Even though it went higher than that. I just put 39.88 number in there, and it took. And I'll show you the results of that and what happened. And this, I mean... This is very rare that I do this type of trade, but I seen a dive like that because I was right there at the pre-market and I knew something was up. It was dropping here in after hours and I was trying to figure out how far it would go. I pulled that trigger just to buy the stock so I could do a covered call against it. You know, do a $40 covered call for this next week again. But something told me just go ahead and just take the profits and I did. I mean, yeah, I could have... I could have just done a covered call and waited for the weekend. But look at what's happening today, though. Look at that. It's dropping way below that $40 mark. We're even below that mark that I bought back in at. So this thing here might be an active trade in about 30 minutes from now. So you're going to have to wait until my next video if I do this trade. But uh, we have to look at the overall market because it is diving. i got to see if it's going to bounce back or if it's going to keep going down further. So we want to be careful, okay, even though we see our favorite stock or a stock that we like start diving, we don't know where that bottom might be. And we got to see if there is a way for it to start coming back. Just like here, I saw it because uh, I was watching the one minute chart and it was jumping. So I said, bam, I pulled that trigger when it was down here jumping back and forth, you know, doing small stuff. 
So you got to really watch that. That difference right here is 217, a, you know, a separate line item. 217 out of the position, 217, 200 shares. I got in at that price. I got out at this price. We made $258 in one day. That was a 3.34% return in one day. Now, we're not day traders. This just happened to me. This is very rare I do this type of trade like this. Normally what I do is I buy it and then I wait a little bit and then I'll put a call up, I sell a call option against it once the stock bounces back. But in this case here, I felt that I need to go ahead and take that profit and walk away because we already have another position of CRSR up here. Remember, we got the 40 calls and we're trying to get $299 and that was for a 10 day and that was for 3.74%. So we're still in this uh, this option here, which expires tomorrow. You know, today's Thursday, tomorrow it'll expire. So we're hoping that it bounces back to 40. If it don't, what we'll do is roll this puppy back on over because I already picked up $258 here off the same stock. Shoot, I might buy more today. I'm only in it for $8,000. I picked up this premium of $789. Remember, I went deep in the money because I knew something was up. So that's why sometimes you got to play deep in the money. And again, we did deep in the money here. We did the 75s and the 80s. And this thing even dropped down to almost $70 this morning, I believe. Okay, let's go, go back where this puppy is. Look at this thing. It's bouncing all around, 39.27. Market opens up in about 20 minutes from now. Like I said, this is going to be a quick video here because we got to get ready for the market opening. The big C here. The big C is doing a little bit of disappointment here. They had to uh, move the earnings over until, whoa, look, it even dropped below 70. But they had to change the earnings to Monday uh, due to the fact bad weather down here in Austin. Austin down here, we still have, I believe it's one third of one-third of the people without power down there in our area here there's only one-third of us that got power and i'm telling you it it is crazy guys i'm telling you this power thing i hope you and your family are staying safe down there at wherever you guys are living at yeah they had to reschedule their earnings until monday that's why the stock has taken a dive here uh, but then again i think it's the overall market that's pressuring it but it's down 2.69 that this is a pre-market. Now, what I could do is I could do another covered call against this puppy, but you're going to have to wait to the next video because we want to make this one short and get it out to the people. Okay, be careful now. These stocks, they can really, really go down. Okay, we don't know how far the market's going to go today and tomorrow. It might continue to go on tomorrow because these unemployment claims. So we'll see. Normally, it bounces back about midday. There's no guarantee of that. Just be careful, all right? I just want everybody to be careful out there. I don't want you guys losing too much money. You guys work too hard for your money. Okay, now, like I stated, I want you guys to be careful out there. And I just wanted to cover that gaming stock, what my actions were yesterday, and why I did what I did. Normally, I don't do day trades. It does, it's not a part of me. That's not what I do. If, if I was doing day trading... Oh my God, we'd be going through like five different stocks a day and we'd be burning and turning and burning and and then I'd have everybody on live and, and we would have to try to pick certain stocks and stuff like that. And, but that's not what we're doing here, okay? We're doing stuff that you can actually buy a stock, put a cover call against it. It's something that you might want to keep for the future or if you lose it, you turn around and, and an, on a down day, you, you turn around and you buy it back and do another cover call on it later on once the price goes up a little bit. You know, or you can sell a put option and get into a position when the price drops far enough for you. We're all about premium here. Uh, please share our videos with others. Hey guys, uh, click the like buttons and subscribe to our channel so you can get future content. Remember, clicking the like buttons help the algorithms to allow these videos to get in front of other people. And there's a money icon to the left of any one of my comments that are out there. Or my first comment that's out there. You just click that money icon and you can go back and watch almost 80 different videos of my past videos. There's a lot of good content in there. You guys go in there and dig in there. 
and learn as much as you can before you do the live trades. I don't want you guys losing too much money out there. Remember, diversify. You know, pick about four or five stocks. We got like four or five stocks out there we're always trying to deal with. It's all about making money, guys. But uh, please trade with paper money first and watch my videos. Watch me do the live trades. Watch me fail and watch me succeed. In certain areas that I succeed, in certain stocks that I succeed in, you go after those stocks if you really like them. Okay, and you make your determination when you want to be in of a stock or out of a stock and what type of cover call you want against. Remember, it's your decision. Now, you guys take care of yourselves and be safe out there. This is Sunny. Until our next video, I'm out.